What's up guys? Today we are watching season 5, episode 5 of Peaky Blinders. So last episode Tommy made like a little truce with the Billy Boys, which I kinda didn't expect to be honest. But also Polly got engaged to at the party thing that they had and I was so excited for her even though it was like a planned kind of thing so she she knew it was gonna happen so that's kind of something that I didn't like but I mean it was still cute I'm happy for her that's amazing but at the end of the episode Linda showed up and Polly shot her because she was about to shoot Arthur and you know I didn't think that Linda was really ever gonna show up and try and shoot Arthur but it happened and I think she's dead could she is she really dead is that gonna be another death in this show you never fucking know and I want to find that out so I guess let's just get into the episode Outside. She's not dead. Okay. I would have taken your bullet. I deserve the bullet. For an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. She fucking hates you right now, Arthur, and you're being nice to her. Shelby, your guests. Get him out, Arthur. Family only. Get him out. <clears throat> Mr. Shelby, on Get out! Mosley didn't look scared by that. But you know what? Why is he even there? Go back to the other room. Wedding proposal. Oh, you propose, eh? One knee. Wait, does she not know? It just kind of seemed like she didn't know that that was going to happen. Arthur. She's going to be fine. I gave her something to get her to sleep. She's going to be fine. But it's like, what do you do after that? She literally hates Arthur. Yeah. All right. You understand? Yeah. Abadama wants you as best man. You hear that? <laughs> okay, so he's gonna be the best man. Because ever since the terrible events of October, when the money markets betrayed us all, I have known that the change is coming. The human species has never faced such on this stage. It's because I have some news. Good news, I think. Oh, no. I will be setting a new course. Setting up a new political movement here, in the very heart of England. And Mr. Shelby will be with me. Oh, that's a different announcement. I thought it was going to be something like we didn't even know about. Who will light a flame the atheists cannot extinguish? Why is he standing in the back like that? It keeps going on that girl. Why? What are you doing dealing with a man like that, Tommy? Yeah, uh, ain't gonna have to trust me. Again. <clears throat> He's really convincing, I mean... I'm going to fuck the swan. Somebody go and tell her to come to my room. Um... That's why they were looking at each other. Things like tonight that shooting, a family dispute in public. Things like that will have to stop. It's very lower class. 
You act like they can control the kind of shit that happens. Your companies, the Shelby portfolio. Your company lawyer is a Jew. Now he will have to go. Because he's Jewish? In return for what? No return. How is that gonna benefit him at all? He d he does deals that benefits him, so. Please understand what I'm offering you as we go forward, Mr. Shelby. When we succeed, even the king will not be above us. He's really that confident about it. Oh, and also, Shelby, drink less. Why are you gonna try and control what man does? And he doesn't need your advice. But you may have a point. He just took a drink. Perhaps you might want to join us. Vartau told me you wouldn't see the morning. Oh, I doubt that very much. Why the fuck? Um, why is he? The way he acts towards her, it seems like he's just bel belittling her in a way, and I hate it. You're doing it because you think somebody should stop him. Oh, and I saw your face when he was speaking. You're doing it because you think it's the right thing to do. Well, this time you just did things that feel nice because you can afford it. I mean, I say you see things in my face. I still want things that feel nice. Let's go. Hmm? Let's go. Let's leave. Where are you going to go? You... You didn't even want to leave in the first place. Get on a boat. Or sail away. You and me. Any destination. It took all of that just for you to say this now? We leave this place. We never come back, Linda. We never come back. I mean that. We go before it gets light. I've got a better idea. Yeah. You stay here. Living inside your head. That's what I thought you were gonna say. She don't wanna go with you. She's past that already. I'll get out. Please. <laughs> it's like I feel so bad for Arthur, but it's like the stuff that he's done though, like it's kind of hard to feel bad for him when he's done all that shit. Watching her drive away. The mother of his kids. So it's like, what's gonna happen with that? Co-parenting? But it doesn't matter. The direct evidence of a link between Mosley and the head of an organized criminal network. In a relationship he will try to deny after the bonfire of all conventions. As a result, my six-monthly review was unfavorable. They're talking about moving me to a black and colored desk in Johannesburg. So their plan could be fucked up if he moves, like if he's moved by them. Your sister has an interesting theory. She thinks perhaps at last Tommy Shelby has actually started to believe in something. Everyone's starting to believe in that. And he just gets offended. Oh. 
Why is he so skittish now? Who, who blew up his car? Someone found out. Who? That also means the father of Ada's baby is gone, is dead, just like the first one. I'll be back. I'll be okay. Oh wait, and the kids, isn't it the kid that start, that like triggered it anyway? Cause he didn't even start his car yet, I don't think. I don't know. I thought it, those kind of things happened only whenever you turned on your car. And I also just realized that is his evidence also up in flames, like his contract with Mosley, like the thingy. Hmm. So how, what is he going to do now? And how is Ada going to fit? How is she going to feel? Oh, fuck. Ben Younger is dead. Someone put a bomb in his car. I feel so bad for Ada. What how bad this is gonna hurt. But whatever happens, just remember you have a baby inside of you. That baby is his. Does anyone any of us touch? He never knew I was pregnant. I hadn't told him. I didn't love him. This is such ass. There was a kid. Died in the explosion. He's ten years old. That's why he checked the pulse. I didn't realize he was dead. He was ten years old. Father stuck to what I'd do. He still be kicking the ball in the street. He feels hella fucking guilty. But it's just like, just then too, Ada was kind of making him feel guilty too. But I mean, she was also speaking facts. Like, anyone who gets in touch with any kind of Shelby member is kind of doomed in some way. Push the button, unlock the door, and come home to me. You think there's a bomb in his car? And he was hoping to. He was hoping to come home to you, Grace. Where the fuck are the Chinese? I like you. Arthur, it's changed. The fuck? In the war, they were very capable. Very capable soldiers. So was I. I was a fucking capable soldier, so. He is scary right now. Okay. You don't even look like you're aiming at someone. You do not fuck with the peaky fucking blinders. <laughs> he is scary as fuck. The way that he looked, the look on his face. Okay. You must have it in Europe. Arthur. 
Oh shit. That's the dude that told them about the thing in the first place, right? Like that was in the office who held who had someone hold the gun to the other brother. I didn't think he'd be on that mission on that mission thing. Oh let him fucking come. Arthur's just looking forward to that shit at this point. But it's also like, what else does he have to look forward to? His wife left him, and yes, he has kids, but it kind of doesn't seem like he cares. For your own safety, I need to search you for items that could potentially be used as weapons against you. Wait, who is he going to visit in the asylum? Did he mention it earlier and I missed it? Because I do tend to talk a bit. Bonnie! Visitor! This one's real! You go away too. Barney. It's pitch black in there, bro. Who are you supposed to see? Hello, Barney. Alta sister, say hello. Sergeant Major. Is that someone from season one? I feel like I've seen him before. Thanks for the letters you sent, Sergeant Major. Yeah, Arthur mostly writes him, I just, just sign him. Why do you gotta tell him? Why do you gotta tell him that? No, they stick the pen up my ass. <laughs> Bonnie, this here is opium and cyanide. I didn't realize it was opium. I was about to be like, are you going to give him something to help him get out or something? But... Yeah. Do you fuck her before me? Because whoever did get me the fucking clap, but I'm guessing it was you. Yes, I fucked her before you did. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I expected this conversation to go. You have no hands. There is no daylight. And you don't want to die. No, I don't. Because one day things might change. Imagine being in, pl in a place like that and he's still hopeful like that. And then Tommy is out and about and he doesn't even feel like that could happen for himself. What would the world do with me if I was out? I have a job for you. He's always going to have a job for someone. I can use that, man. Get you the latest BSA fucking telescopic sights. Who do you want him to shoot? Is it going to be Mosley? What do you say, Barney? I'll come for you. After midnight Wednesday. Oh, don't keep track of those, Tom. He's gonna, he's gonna go after her? Well, like, he's gonna help him get out, okay. Is this? Generals gathered in their masses. different part of the song but I remember this song from the terminal list I literally learned this song because of that show who we can rely on to offer them support in London well I would suggest the most competent organizer of men in the south is Alfie Solomons <laughs> Alfie died yeah your dad who's your dad this is my fucking dad 
Right here. This is my fucking dad. Where's up at Alma? Okay then, Arthur. Calm yourself. Put ten sacks of flour onto Mr. McCavan's boat. Tom, I, I don't think it's really flour. I oh, know, Carly. Just do as I say. <laughs> I didn't think you thought it was actually flour. Listen. He's gonna kill Oswald Mosley. Shoot him in the fucking head. Yep. Oh, he's using him to shoot Mosley. So I was ca I, didn't I say that earlier? I thought I said it earlier. Then he spoke badly to my wife. It's gonna be a busy few weeks, brother. Yeah. Okay. I swear, Arthur has definitely, like, changed this episode after, like, Linda's gone now. I kind of thought she died, but I'm, I'm, like, I'm surprised she's even alive. But you know what? Oh, oh well. Like, I don't know what would have been better. Her dead or her leaving Arthur? Like, I feel bad for Arthur, but again, like I said earlier, it's hard to feel bad for him whenever we know the shit that he's done. Can't really do anything about that, you know? But, I swear. And what what's it called? Whenever Tommy mentioned Alfie earlier, that kind of just got my hopes up. What if they faked that man's death? They probably didn't. But I'm, I was just hopeful because I loved his character so fucking much. Uh, I want Tom Hardy back on this show. I want to see him and freaking Mosley interact. It would be amazing. But it's most likely not going to happen. He died from Tommy. Tommy shot him. But what's it called? What's it called? Michael was barely in this episode. He was at the party in the beginning of the episode and then that's like all we've seen of him. He's becoming like, he's getting way less screen time this season. It's weird. But I mean, if that's just how it goes, that's just how it goes. I just thought he would have more screen time. And I kind of feel bad because I thought his new wife would also get maybe some more screen time, but she's barely been getting any either. So it's kind of like, eh. and next episode is literally like the last episode of the season. So it's like, is she barely gonna, like, are they both gonna barely get any screen time this whole fucking season? It's weird. Like, I kind of like Michael as a character and him having a wife now is interesting and it would be cool to see more of them, but it's like, hopefully we get to next season if there's like not more like in the next episode but like it is crazy how fast we get through the episodes because there is only six but it's like i feel like they're longer even though they're not but it's weird and we barely saw polly at all this episode we saw her at the beginning and that's about it but you know what I am sad about? I feel bad for Ada. It's like she can't be happy. She didn't even tell dude she was pregnant. And he'll never know. Because he's dead. I. It's like she can't win. Freddy's dead and now this dude's dead. And yeah, she said she wasn't really going to marry the dude. But that could have changed. Like... I f she was gonna tell him eventually I'm sure that she was pregnant but now she's never gonna get the chance because dude died just from helping Tommy and you know I feel bad that she tried that she was like putting that in Tommy's face like anyone that anyone that gets in contact with you or whatever 
somehow ends up dead and it's like she's kind of not wrong but also it just makes him feel even worse and he's also not even in a good headspace right now so that's definitely not helping man has no hope for himself and you add all that on top of it plus the 10 year old that died he is going through it i swear it's like sometimes you want to love him but you also want to hate him because of the like some of the shit that he does but man's having a tough time like i feel so bad he need and it's like i want to say lizzie helps him but i feel like if she did a lot then they wouldn't have brought back grace like whenever he takes the opium and i i just feel bad saying that lizzie isn't helping him that much because it's like it's not that she doesn't want to but it's just like lizzie's also not the person he would be with if grace was alive so he can't really help that situation but i mean he married her he i'm guessing he loves her like sometimes it's hard to tell but like I just wish she was able to help more like not that she's not doing enough but it's just like he's hard to accept it you know there's a whole thing with Tommy he he needs help and I feel bad but I am ready to see what they're gonna do this next episode since they broke dude out of the freaking insane, insane asylum because they're going after Mosley now yeah so I'm ready to see what's going to happen with that. So I guess come back for episode 6.